living things need water. Nature cleans and maintains water in its many forms. That is the way of the water cycle. Water vapor collects in clouds and comes down as rain or snow. Then water runs off land into rivers and streams and collects in lakes and oceans. Eventually, water evaporates into the atmosphere and becomes a cloud again. Mother Nature keeps water clean in its natural state. Plants and wetlands act like sponges, absorbing and filtering rainwater that runs off. Rocks and soil filter water as it seeps into the ground. Rain and groundwater both contain organic substances. Nature's microorganisms eat these organic substances and clean the water. That is exactly what happens at the Fairfield Sassoon Sewer District 2. Only it happens at warp speed in our state-of-the-art wastewater treatment plant. Have you ever thought about what happens to water when it goes down the drain? Where in the world it goes? Let's follow it. Water that flows down the drain goes through a building's plumbing, through the sewers, and then flows to the treatment plant. The system of pipes and pumps that take water from a building to the treatment plant is the wastewater collection system. The wastewater collection system is like a tree. The smallest branches in city streets connect to homes and businesses. Branch lines connect to main sewers that serve entire neighborhoods or business districts. Sewer mains feed into bigger trunk lines that lead to the treatment plant. The district's collection system includes 13 pump stations and a 70 mile network of large diameter sewer pipes that collect and transport sanitary waste to the plant. The treatment plant cleans water through many physical and biological steps, just like Mother Nature cleans water in a stream. The district treats about 16 million gallons of wastewater per day, and the plant has the capacity to treat up to 52 million gallons per day. If you were a swimming pool builder, and your customer asked you to build a pool that would hold 16 million gallons, then they'd better have a big backyard. The pool would be as long and wide as a football field and 40 feet deep. Wastewater that enters a plant, called influent, goes through a lot of treatment steps, starting at the headworks. At the headworks, wastewater goes through the bar screens that trap objects that somehow end up in the sewer, including diapers, baseballs, dollar bills, and that uh, <clears throat> diamond ring that slipped down the drain. Yeah. Everything raked off the screen goes through a washing machine and then a compactor. After flowing through the bar screens, wastewater slows down so that small and coarse materials called grit can settle. Grit sinks to the bottom of the grit chambers where scrapers scrape it off. Everything taken out by the bar screens and the grit chambers goes to the landfill. Next. Wastewater heads to the primary clarifiers, where heavy particles fall to the bottom and lighter materials like grease and scum float to the top. Pumps then send wastewater to the top of the oxidation towers, and the wastewater sprays over large honeycomb-like plastic surfaces. A biological slime, zuglial mass, grows on the honeycomb. Bacteria in the slime remove pollutants from the wastewater. The zuglio mass is a lot like the slime that grows on rocks in a creek. Slime that falls off in the ox towers settles out into an intermediate clarifier. After intermediate treatment, wastewater moves on to secondary treatment. Wastewater flows into aeration tanks. Aeration tanks provide ideal conditions, including lots of oxygen for more water cleaning, bacteria to eat, drink, and multiply. This special mix of water cleaning bacteria is activated sludge. Well-fed activated sludge settles out in secondary clarifiers and then flows right back into the beginning of the aeration basin to eat, drink, and multiply some more. Cleansed water moves on to be filtered and then disinfected with ultraviolet lights. Solids removed from wastewater are thickened using a polymer and mechanical belt and then digested in huge biological reactors. 
Digesters work like our own bodies, digesting organic material at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Digesters produce methane gas, which fuels engines that generate electricity. After digestion, local landfills reuse the solids as a daily cover. It takes the treatment plant about 17 hours to do what it takes Mother Nature years to accomplish. The fresh water leaving the plant enhances the beautiful Sassoon Marsh, where thousands of species of birds, fish, and plants make their habitat. Treating wastewater requires a lot of energy. The district lowers its energy costs in many resourceful ways. Methane gas from the digester fuels engines that produce electricity. Heat from the engines warms the sludge in the digesters and heats the plant's maintenance building. Additional energy is harnessed in four 50 kilowatt wind turbines and the district hosts a one megawatt solar array as well. It takes more than just advanced equipment and clever energy use to treat the billions of gallons of water that go down the drains in Fairfield and Sassoon City every year. The staff of the Fairfield Sassoon Sewer District work on the leading edge of environmental protection. Certified plant operators spend their work days outdoors monitoring and adjusting the treatment process. Skilled mechanics and electricians work with their hands installing and fixing machinery. Collection workers are out in the neighborhoods every day, running robotic cameras through underground sewer pipes. Chemists sample and analyze water at different stages of treatment. And professional engineers design treatment systems and manage multi-million dollar construction projects. But you don't have to be a part of the district staff to help protect our water. You can help protect the Sassoon Marsh and our local waterways in a lot of easy ways. Never put fats, oils, and grease down the drain. Grease and oil can harden and clog your pipes, causing backups and sewage overflows. Scrape dirty plates and pans into trash or compost bins before you wash dishes to keep fatty foods from going down the drain. Toilets are not trash cans. Only flush toilet paper and you know what else down the toilet. Don't flush medications. Today's medicines contain ingredients that wastewater treatment plants cannot remove. Bring unused medicines to a local medication collection event instead. Batteries, light bulbs, thermometers, and old paint can have mercury, lead, or other toxic materials inside them. So don't throw them in the trash. Bring them to the household hazardous waste facility instead. The drains that you see on the streets do not go to the treatment plant like the water that goes down the drain inside homes. Street drains lead directly to creeks in the Sassoon Marsh. Remember that creeks and marshes are wildlife habitats. Oils, soaps, and litter in your own neighborhood streets can poison these habitats. The Sassoon Marsh is a huge, magnificent habitat for thousands of species of birds, reptiles, fish, and plants. The Sassoon Marsh is the only place on the planet where certain plant and animal species live. All of us at the Fairfield Sassoon Sewer District are proud of the important work that we do to protect our environment. Together, we can protect and preserve our environment for future generations. The Sassoon Marsh is ours to protect.